Hello, my name is Dr. Larry Green, and I'm the founder of Bokashi Cycle, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what I think is a very serious problem, and that is how to handle pet waste. Pet owners are really facing a dilemma. Anywhere in the world, particularly in the United States and Canada, they have to discard the pet waste in some responsible way. But the limited options are troubling. If you place the pet waste in a plastic bag, I have many samples of plastic bags with pet waste that I picked up from the local dog park. It's going to end up in the landfill. The so-called decomposable bags, which are made of cornstarch, are other materials that are advertised to completely 100% compost, are truly cross-linked polymers, and when they break down, they they leave a residual trail of the long polymer strands in the soil or in the material wherever they've been allowed to break down. And if it ends up in the water supply, you have long strands of polymers flowing through the water as well. And that's not to mention, in addition to that, you have plasticizers and other materials. So the real problem with pet waste is that there is no easy, simple answer, or at least there hasn't been until recently. If you leave the pet waste outside, the problem is, is that pathogens such as E. coli, salmonella, and a number of different parasites will simply follow the trail of the water through the soil and end up in the groundwater. And ultimately that's going to end up in your city water and it's going to cost a lot more to get it cleaned up. Many of these parasites are really difficult to treat and the city systems are not set up to handle the load. If you take a large city and look at the number of dogs and cats you will find that a very high volume of pet waste is being generated on a daily basis. So what should you do? If you leave it outside, it contaminates the groundwater. If you put it in a garbage can, it's going to end up in a landfill or some other place where it's going to contaminate groundwater or it's going to be buried and produce methane gas and still contaminate groundwater. The solution, which is far simpler and has many advantages is to use microbes and with those microbes to ferment the pet waste in a special fermenter and in that process you are able to kill the pathogens such as E. coli and salmonella and the parasites and a number of other undesirable microbes that are going to end up in, or would have otherwise ended up in the groundwater and the advantage of doing a fermentation is that it's very rapid, it only takes about seven days, and because it's sealed, it's anaerobic, keeps the oxygen out, immediately when you place the pet waste into the fermentation solution, the smell is gone, there are no flies. And there's an additional benefit. The benefit that you'll ultimately appreciate is that at the end of the fermentation cycle, you can take this decomposed material and place it in the soil and in that process feed the soil the nitrogen, the phosphorus, all the other good nutrients that are found in the urine and the, and the uh, pet waste and that's going to help your plants and it's also going to help expand the population of natural microbes in the soil so in this very simple process of fermentation of pet waste we've solved a number of important problems we don't produce greenhouse gases we take the valuable nutrients that are in the pet waste and rapidly convert it to nutrients that can be used for ornamental plants and in the process we've eliminated the problem of methane production, greenhouse gas production, and contamination of groundwater. So we're going to take a few moments and go through the process and show you how simple it is. And the one thing I want you to remember is that using the decomposable bags or flushing bags is not a solution, even though it may, be so it may sound like a simple solution, it ends up contaminating the environment in addition to the parasites and microbes, it contaminates the environment with the plastic polymers. So we'll go into a little bit more detail on how to ferment pet waste.